New tonight, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello is reacting to what the documents reveal about his predecessor's involvement in the controversial deal. And we also have exclusive reaction from Senate President Teresa Piva Weed. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russell spoke to both of them, and he continues our team coverage live in the newsroom. We are starting to hear more from some of these top legislators in the state about the controversial 38 Studios deal. We spoke with House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello about former House Speaker Gordon Fox, who documents show helped set up this deal. Did Gordon Fox lie to you? I suppose if withholding information is a lie, yes. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello was the House Majority Leader when the 38 Studios deal was made. He continues to say he knew nothing about the deal beforehand that loaned $75 million to the video gaming company. Nobody was aware of Kurt Schilling or 38 Studios until afterwards. The $75 million evaporated within two years when the company closed, forcing Rhode Island taxpayers to pick up the bill. Two people who have not been questioned under oath on 38 Studios are the company's founder and former Red Sox pitcher Kurt Schilling. Yes, we should hear from him. It's outrageous that we haven't. And Senate President Teresa Piva Weed. Based upon their review of the facts, I think they realized that this really, there was no reason to depose anybody in the Senate, not just myself. Did the Senate do enough to go through this legislation before passing it? You know, when you look back in the rearview mirror, certainly I wish we'd put the same kind of condition that we put in this year's budget, limited a project. Uh, however, that would be really looking in the rearview mirror. So, about yes or no? I think that at this time the Senate uh, supported the loan guarantee program. We had an anticipation that it would be more diversified. Uh, but, you know, in, once again, I think that our actions speak in this year's budget in a similar way uh, by limiting the amount of the project. And we asked the House Speaker if people should be skeptical about what happens in the State House. He says people should be confident with an overwhelming majority of their representatives. Live in the newsroom, I'm Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.